Hey guys, today's video is super, super exciting and I am so excited to be able to share it with you. I know you read the title, so we got a new horse. I will be making a new video very soon telling you a lot about him, but first we have to go get him. He is down in Texas. I tried him a few weeks ago, but now it is time to have the vet check and hopefully bring him home. So the first thing we have to do is hook up the trailer. Since we are just going to get one horse, we are taking the lovely bumper pull trailer. This thing has been with me for a really long time. I hauled with it exclusively for like seven years and yes it is one fender strong we still have not replaced that okay so we have made it to texas and right now we are about okay we have made it to texas and this is the morning of the vet check so fingers crossed that he passes the pre-purchase exam and we get to take him home but before we head to the vet check we are going to run into a tax store and buy some things that we know we're going to need for him and if for some reason he doesn't pass the vet check then we will just keep him and begin our search all over again so we are about to run into teskies which is one of the best tax shops ever in weatherford I think fly stuff is back here. Maybe. Yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> They've changed to completely yeah, the cool. Have, I'm gonna assume he's a medium. Fly boots. Because the flies are terrible in Arkansas. <laughs> and we need electrolytes. Okay. Are you going to look for a flash? Yeah, I'll stay over here and do that. You need a really light one. That one we got for Ace made him really sweaty. So I don't lightweight. Yeah, do the, definitely lightweight. 70 to 72? Or 74 to 76. Hmm. How big is Kat? Chester's 80. There's 77 to 79. Yeah, Chester's 80. I would go with the one in the middle. The 74. Four, if I can find one. I would. They may not have it. We might have to order one. This one got some fluffiness. <laughs> Those are all big. Yeah, I think one over here, they're all 75. 78. Me too. Uh, 80. I think 80 to 82 is going to be too big for them. Yeah. Like based on I think so too. So we may or may not get one. Yeah. Well, we can order one if they don't have one. Yeah. Because I think 78, 80, I wouldn't go Yeah. We can just go ahead and go get electrolytes. Okay. I'll just order one. Okay. I think. So I'm assuming she'll send him with the halter, don't you think? Oh, I don't know. Because I don't have an extra yeah. halter. Because we bought, brought the little trailer. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. You want me to throw it? No, it's just like I'm going to show it to you. Okay, bye. <laughs> and should we grab a halter? Let's do. I'll just get, and get a nice lead rope that you can use with something else. Where are the halters? I don't feel like do we need to get flare strips? Uh, maybe one package. She said she's going to send some. So yeah, those would be pretty on everybody. Flare strips? Um... I'm trying to think about where they they're back here. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> oh yeah, we do need that. Are these for ponies or are these normal? Okay. Is that one good? Right. Yeah, we just need a strap. strap. Yeah. 
Yeah. I feel like this one's good. Now I need a halter. Yeah, it does look huge. This looks like it's for Chester. Large. Yeah, it's he's probably in like a normal. A normal horse. So far, we're going with with pink. <laughs> That's a small. Are these mediums? Average. Not a work. And now a lead rope. Um. There's rope ones and then there's, there's a pink one over there. We'll go get the pink one. I dropped the player's trait. So. Take a move. <laughs> Maybe Kat needs a muzzle. <laughs> He's fat. I got The vet check doesn't work. I don't know who's wearing that. <laughs> to have and to hold. I feel like that's. I'll buy a burgundy lead rope. <laughs> there was one, I think, on the other side. I mean, I think they're all kind of. This one, yeah, this happen. feels like Dr. Pepper to me. Hall, hall moment. My arms are tired. I'm getting there. Okay, well you're gonna have to. What color? Get this one. Just whatever. Now that our tack shopping is done, it is time for the vet check. So you want to do a pre-purchase exam on a horse you are buying. This will really help you down the road, let you know everything that the horse needs, any sort of maintenance, and sadly in the horse industry, People can be pretty dishonest, especially if you are a new horse owner. So you wanna make sure there's nothing um, wrong with the horse, no sort of pain that has been blocked in order to sell the horse. That is definitely not the case with this horse, but this is why you get a pre-purchase exam. We were mostly doing it on this horse to make sure we knew all of the maintenance he was going to need down the road because he is going to be a very high level performance horse so you do a full lameness exam and typically some x-rays due to his age we knew he would have some arthritic changes he is 12 so we just wanted to make sure there was nothing career ending down the road like any sort of degenerative problem or navicular issue and he was all good so i will let you finish the vet check and then we will take him home Since it is so, so hot and the vet check took a little while, we filled him up a bucket and our jug for the road home. Here he is tied to our trailer enjoying some alfalfa and I put on his new pink fly boots after we had offered him a little bit of water and then it was time to load him up. He loaded up so good and he rode really good. We only stopped once to try and give him a little bit of water since this was a eight and a half 
our haul, we stopped halfway and got him some kind of lukewarm water. We poured the hot water from our jug in and then diluted it with a cold jug of water from the gas station and he really didn't drink a lot. So as soon as I was done offering him water, we got on the road again because it was just so hot we needed air moving through there constantly. And here he is when we got home. I put him in the round pen so he could kind of smell and stretch out and he had some water in there and he is already very interested in the cattle and the other horses he trotted around a little really getting stretched out which i loved to see but now while he is out here it's time for me to get his stall ready and kite decided to be the most disgusting he has ever been i was gone for one night and he did this anyway kite is still here we only have these two stalls here but we set him up a temporary kind of stall until the heat breaks and he can just live outside so he is still here and very very happy so i'm gonna let you watch me get his stall ready for him Once the stall is clean and comfy, I get him some clean water. So I dump these buckets and they get them filled back up. Now that his stall is ready, I go outside and get him and bring him in. I am going to spray him off a little bit because he did get sweaty in the trailer. I didn't spray his whole body. I just wanted to really get where he had gotten sweaty. He didn't get completely drenched, just had sweat a little bit. And I wanted to make sure that was off of him and that I cooled off under his mane because as you can see, he has a lot of gorgeous hair. I turn him loose and pet him and just kind of let him explore his new stall a little bit before I start getting his dinner ready and I did love to see that he got a nice drink out of both buckets. Now it is dinner time and he is on a different feed than our other horses. This is what his owner was feeding him before he was sold to us. So we are keeping him on this.
since he really didn't drink when we stopped on our super long haul, we are going to make him a mash to make sure he stays really hydrated. So I'm just going to put some shredded alfalfa in here, some electrolytes, and then wet it down so that he eats all of the alfalfa and the water with it. Chester finally came in from outside, so I shut him in and they got to meet each other. And it seems like they hit it off right away and they are both very happy with each other's company, at least for now. So I hope it stays that way. And then we threw him a nice big flake of alfalfa for the night. And he was really nice and cozy and I know he is going to settle in much better the longer he is with us. So there is the vlog of us going to get my new horse. He has spent one night with us and he's settling in really well before I do a lot with him. I wanna make sure he's really comfortable and he's gotten used to his new home. And it is the hottest week ever in Arkansas right now. So everybody's getting a break from the heat. Definitely wanna be very careful with that. But him and Chester are actually related and they've become really, really good buddies. So I'm very excited about that. Make sure you subscribe to learn more about our new horse very, very soon. Bye.